Take this guy out. Nice. Get out of here, buddy. Chad Reed, you fucking Australian prick. Oh, you dingo. You dingo, bitch. My god. Fuck off. Put time into it to really enjoy it. Fuck off. Who the hell is that? This piece of shit. On his cowie. Oh my god. Alright, what's going on everybody? We're here playing every MX vs ATV game in one video. We're starting out with MX Unleashed, and then we're going to work our way up to the newest games. Yes, this game technically isn't an MX vs ATV title, but I'm including it. I'm going to do a race on each game. One race on my favorite track. I forgot that this happened, actually. If you sit in the menu too long, it goes into this, so let's get out of that. I also do apologize. The quality for the first few games might be a bit off because I have to record it through the remote play on Xbox One to my PC. So you might see a few little weird things with uh, the older games. But we're on a mix unleashed. We're going to go nationals for this game. And my favorite track is Grandview. This track is amazing. Very simple, but very cool. 250s, single race, pro physics, jack difficulty all the way up. We're going to rock with the Suzuki and this rainbow gear. My name and number is a bit off, but that's whatever. So let's hop into it. All right. I haven't played this game in a hot minute. The gas is friggin' A. The clutch is left trigger. Whoa. The audio is a bit off right now. It sounds very echoey. Oh, shit. I'm, am I already going to go down? Nope. I'm very rusty. This game may be very simple, but it was kind of hard back in the day. Cinematic camera, always good to come back to. I am rocking the 801. I think my dad was playing this. It's not my actual character. Oh, God. Uh, let's see if we can take somebody out here. Give them the business. Kind of failed that. We'll get somebody. We'll get somebody. Shit. Take this guy out. Nice. Get out of here, buddy. I think you preload here. Go all the way down the hill. Nice. That was creamy tits. Let's go. The AI is actually not too bad in this game. Compared to the newer titles, I don't remember what to do here. Nice. This guy's cock blocking my inside here. Thank you. It's crazy to me how this game still has the best two stroke sounds. I'm pretty sure even like MX bikes and simulator have terrible two stroke sounds. You can use the D pad to steer in this game, which is more precise, but it's. A bit finicky, so I like to use my analog. See, I'm actually trying my cock off a little bit right here, and they're kind of pulling away. They're throwing tricks and shit, man. They're taunting my ass. I haven't played this game in a while, but it feels so good coming back, man. It's crazy how good this game still is. Fucking 20 years later. It's not just the nostalgia. It actually feels that great, and it's still so fun. Oh, I might die here. All right, final lap. I'm in second now. Gotta catch this motherfucker. Don't know who it is. Just wide open everywhere. Fuck, it's pretty slippery, man. Oh, shit. What am I doing? No. I don't remember what to do here. I'm gonna preload. I fucked. I just sold the bag. Look how much time he gained. There's no way I'm catching him. I don't know. This guy's hauling ass, man. I'm not riding the best, but the AI is very challenging in this game, especially on the hardest difficulty. Oh, shit. No, no. Come on. You got to make a mistake, buddy. going to choke up here. Fuck. I fucked it. I was right on his ass, too, man. Pause. That sounds kind of gay. Smith, you bastard. And then now eat shit. Thanks. This game also has these, like, after stat things, which is really cool. But that's MX Unleashed, one of my favorite games of all time. Still holds up to this day. Let's hop into MX vs. ATV Unleashed now. Alright, so we're here at MX vs. ATV Unleashed. I had to enter some cheat codes to get all the tracks. Um, unfortunately, on the PC port, the game's resolution is only this big. So you won't be able to get a full screen. I will zoom it in for you guys, but it won't look the greatest. Um, the PC port isn't the greatest for this game. But we're going to hop into another national. All right, so here we go. That gate drive really quick. Was not expecting that. I thought I turned the music off. Come on. There we go. Now the music's off. I don't think I'm rocking pro physics because I memory crashed very easily in this game. 
I have my control set a little differently to this one, so I'm actually using the right trigger for gas. Because like I said, the PC port for this game is not very good. It's very glitchy and janky. Like, I, I can't even really preload all the way. It's that... Maybe that's just me. Suck on the dog. All right, here we go. In last place, let's get going. This was my favorite track back in the day. Look at this fucking dookie-ass lopsided whoop section. Holy shit. All right, here we go. One thing with the PC port again, the bike sounds are a little glitched. So if, you, if you're on the throttle for more than a couple seconds, yeah, you'll hear like two bike sounds go off, which can get very annoying. I don't know if you guys will notice it, but I notice it when I play this game. For me, the physics feel ever so slightly better than MX Unleashed. It's practically this. I screwed that up. It's practically the same game with slightly tweaked physics. I'd say this game does feel a little bit better. Ever so slightly, though. Still a great game. Oh, shit. I'm rocking the sexy as no fear gear. Favorite gear of all time. It really needs to come back one of these days. Maybe some throwback gear in Legends would be cool. That's what I think. AI is on the hardest difficulty. I'm pretty sure they were decent in this game too. I just killed like <laughs> sent that guy out to Narnia. Oh yeah, cinematic camera looks sexy as always. I think the next game after this is MX Race Eight to be Untamed. But I did not play that game on the PS3. I played it on the PS2, and the PS2 version was pretty much uh, another version of this game. So I'm, I've barely played the PS3 version, so I'll be very stale when I play that game. I'll go to Supercross, I'll probably get my ass kicked. We're in first place, I don't know what happened to any of these guys here. Also on the PC port, unfortunately, you can't race against, like, uh, Sebastian Tortelli or Chad Reed or James Stewart, I don't think. And I also think Chad Reed and Sebastian Tortelli are missing from this game. The Suzuki is missing from this game. Like I said, the PC version is a little buggy. There is custom tracks available though, which is pretty cool. Bike sounds are still amazing. The little whip physics are actually clean. Like this game's, what, 18 years old? Something like that, 17 years old. Still holds up to this day. Still better than a lot of the newer shit that's came out. I don't know if this game is better than the Legends though. I, I do love this game. I have a lot of good memories with it, but it's tough to say. I think Legends might just be a bit better than this game. I love the cinematic camera. They gotta bring that shit back, man. Just press a button and it does this nice little cinematic shot. Look at that shit. Somebody tried taking me out there. Get this triple up the hill. Nope. Got the Kawasaki. Don't got this. This, 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 this fucking stuttering. Da, 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 da. Why did the pigeon cross the road? Okay, why? Because it was having sex with the chick. Because it was having sex with the chick. Because it was having sex with the chick. It was having sex with the chicken. That race went by quick. Kind of dog on them, but that's, uh... MX vs. Age of Unleashed. One of my favorite games again. Great game. Now, I think next is uh, Untamed, so let's hop into that. So we're here on MX vs. Age of Untamed. Like I said earlier, I have barely played the PS3 uh, version or Xbox 360 version. I played the PS2 version back in the day, which was a completely different game. So I don't really know any tracks in this game. I haven't played this game in probably over a year. I remember when I was playing this, I got my ass handed to me. So, Capital City, that's the one that's getting remastered, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's getting remastered from this game. So let's rock with Capital City. We're going to go all the way to all time, so I'm going to get lapped most likely. And uh, let's just hop into it. Customized vehicle. I tried entering cheat codes, but I couldn't get them to work. This is what I got, though. So uh, I think I'm going to watch speed, right? I don't know. We'll just go balanced. I really do not know. Oh, you can test drive. That's pretty cool. It doesn't look that bad for, like, 2007. The graphics got a quite a bit of an increase. That bike sounds kind of annoying. Who's this commentator? I actually might know this track because I just did some laps on it in Legends. So I think I have a chance here. Millsaps, D. Wimmer, Little Cock, Grant, Villapoto. Okay, here we go. That lady's pretty sexy. 
Come on. Not a bad start. Alright, we're still in this. They're cheating. Take him out. <laughs> Yo, the collisions are actually fired. That was awesome, dude. That was... that. Does this game have just goaded collisions? Because that was pretty cool. I can't hear my bike whatsoever. Alright, these guys are cheating in the whoops. Chad Reed, you fucking Australian prick. Oh, you dingo. You dingo bitch. My god. Chad Reed is gonna get something in his butt, man. I'm telling you. Not for me, of course. That was bullshit. The grip is insane. This game's actually fire, dude. Come on, I'm so butt cheeks, dude. I know I know nothing about the setup. This game has similar graphics to Reflex. Yeah, I know this track. I just did it the other day. Doesn't matter though, I'm still a dog. I don't understand the preload. It's not really preloading that much. Fuck. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my get on the track. It's over. All because of Chad Reed. All because of Chad Reed. Remember that name. From now on, we hate Chad Reed. Oh, it's so slippery, dude. Not that slippery. I'm just... Dog. Oh, you can rail berms. What the hell? Give me a boost. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, I went too fast. No. We're in ninth place? Oh, my God. What a joke. Who the hell is 708? That's how bad I am right now. I'm battling with... Fucking... Oh my god, dude. AI is too good in this game, and I'm too bad. I apologize. I'm hitting this entire section like whoops. Turn, dude. He doesn't turn. Oh my, now I'm just falling behind. Well, I'm miles behind second last place. I knew this was going to happen with this game. The AI is really good, and I've barely played this game. Ever. It's sick that it has a pro circuit bike though. That's pretty cool. Get on the track. Why does he want to go off the track? This is probably painful for a lot of you guys. Okay, you know what? We might not get last. We might not get last. We're actually kind of on to something right now. Never mind. We're getting last. Josh Grant wins. Whatever. I think I'd like to practice this game more because this is actually pretty fun. The physics are really good. But I am butt cheeks. Last place. All because of Chad Reed. You've seen that. Cooler replay camera. Alright, so we're here on MX Race ATV Reflex. And uh, there are some mods for this game I have installed. I'm going to be rocking this custom gear set and gear. But I'm going to ride on the uh, some stock tracks, so don't worry. My favorite track in this game... Oh, I had this sexy looking America bike. I believe my favorite track in this game was... Uh, Sandwick. This track's getting remastered for Legends, so I'm really excited about that. This was my favorite national track, so we're going to hop into this. Yeah, I think Reflex is still the best. Oh, it just feels so good. The scrubs are just unmatched, man. They really are. Oh, nice. Sexy little lady right there. Let's get this whole shot. Pelopoto next to us. I can't wait for this track, Legends. It's going to be so good. What the hell is that bullshit, man? I remember back in the day, I used to play this game, or this track on Reflex all the time. I do 30-minute motos. The track would get so rough. It was a It was a blast. Oh shit, coming in a little hot. Yeah, this game feels the best out of all the ones I've played so far. I think Reflex is still probably the best, even compared to like Legends. I just don't think you can match the physics. Also, my dog's whining under my desk right now, so you might hear him. I am railing the shit out of this corner. Oh, my game's kind of getting chopped right now. I don't know why. 
I think this was the first game to introduce the reflex system where if you almost go down, you can flick your stick in a certain way to catch it in time before you crash. I think this was the first game to do that. I don't know how many times I've hit these yellow tires on this track. Let me fucking tell you. This bike looks so nice, though. One of my favorite uh, skins on a bike of all time. Probably next to the Makita Suzuki. This was the next best one. Come on. You can fly down this. The whip glitch is crazy in reflex. Scrubs are unmatched. The bike sounds are awesome. How rough the track gets is insane. AI is pretty dog shit in this game. I'm already 10 seconds ahead. Every time I come back to this game, I just feel right at home. I don't really need a warm-up lap or anything. I just come right back to it. It's a very memorable game. You can already see all the ruts kind of forming already. The collisions in this game are kind of crazy. If you touch anybody, you're probably going down. Ah, see, I kind of got a cross right there. Like, look at the deep shit in here already. That's fucking wild. You can throw some nasty scrubs out this time. Let's see if I can do it. Oh my god. Ah, shit. I kind of screwed up a little bit, but... Absolutely gorgeous. Get all kinds of speed. Do the whip glitch. You can launch right down there. I don't really know what a good lap time is on this track. But let's see if we can throw a good lap time down right here. Look look how deep that is after one lap. That is wild. The track's already destroyed after it's like two laps. Let's see if I can beat a 131. I should be able to do that as long as I don't crash. Oh, those these tires are deadly on reflex, dude. Full speed into that. Nice. Sneak on the inside of that. Yeah, we're, we're already 30 seconds ahead. The AI is kind of a joke in this game. I don't think they're as bad as they are in Legends, though. Legends still probably has the worst AI. I'm surprised I haven't gotten tossed off the, my bike yet in that section. My game is running choppy right now, which is really annoying me. Look at this corner, dude. Oh my god. That is uh, Reflex. I think this is still the best motocross game we've ever had. In terms of fun and physics, this has got to be the best one still. So let's hop on to, I believe, Alive is next. Okay, I'm level 50. I'm rocking the chicken head, apparently. This game had some funny customization. Let's see what we got. Probably gonna rock with the No Fear gear because, like I said, No Fear is... The best cure of all time, in my opinion. The Mohawk, that's awesome. The Pumpkin. <laughs> Holy shit, man. I think they got some butt patches. Yeah, I got the Squid one. Always rocking the Squid. Oh, yeah, there's Rider skills. Completely forgot about that. Clutch Master and Scrub Master. That's pretty much the two best, I believe. Yeah, on the PC version, I don't think you can buy any of the actual bikes or the James Stewart compound. Like, if I go to Mortal Club Depot, yeah, there's nothing. So that, that's the shitty thing about the PC, or the, sorry, the backwards compatible version of this game on Xbox. There's no DLC, so no James Stewart compound. Uh, and uh, the, the, the other free ride track and the bikes. You're missing all that and some gear, which is unfortunate. Favorite track in this game? Oh yeah, there's also no Supercross in this game on the backwards compatible version. Because there was only two Supercross tracks that came out for this game and they were DLC. They were actually really fun, but they're not in this version of the game. Honestly, my favorite track in this game might be this figure eight. I had a lot of fun on it back in the day. Yeah, these fa these short tracks are really fun. My favorite track in this game, I think, was the Champs MX Park. Um, this just such a nice track, man. All time. Three laps. Let's go. Oh, we got a sexy ass lady. Nice tights. Nice. Let's go. Getting the win for you. This game doesn't run the best, though, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. This game's way heavier than the other ones. This was, like, completely different from Reflex. Oh, God. Shit. No, 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 no. God damn it. I gotta turn off the music. Fuck off. It's very hard to keep momentum in this game. 
I did enjoy this game, but you need to put time into it to really enjoy it. Fuck off! Who the hell is that? Oh my god, dude. The suspension in this game was different. You could seat bounce and also preload at the same time, kind of. It was a nice little uh, detail. But yeah, this game runs like absolute garbage. I think I'm at like fucking 30 frames a second right now. Oh my god. The amount of times... I'm already getting pissed because I remember the amount of times that that happened in this game. It was insane. Fucking... Case and everything, dude. Not representing the chicken head very well here. What the fuck is going on, man? This piece of shit on his cowie. Oh my god. My voice is actually hurting right now. My throat. I'm getting way too pissed. Oh my god. Why am I so bad? This, game, this game's harder to get back into. Oh my... Oh god. This... Oh, I'm so ass. This game was hard. The skill gap in this game was insane. A little bit of track deformation. The AI was okay, but I'm really bad right now. Austin's troop, I forgot about that guy. Scrubs were actually pretty clean. Fuck sakes, man. God, oh my god. Case and everything. I'm not representing this game very well right now. Fucking troops in my way. Oh my god, I can't do anything. Oh yeah, Clutch Master. I don't even know how to use Clutch Master anymore. This is... Maybe I should have picked an easier track. Holy shit, man. Oh yeah, there was a glitch in this game where if you held the freestyle button down... You could, like, hold a perfect lean in the whoops. I'm I'm so far behind. There we go. Now we're finally getting somewhere. This piece of shit, Matt Boney. He's pissing me off, man. I don't know who this guy is or why he's in this game, but I hate him. Finally got that triple, dude. Like, this game just takes practice. You can't really jump right back into it because it's so different. Cheater line. I'll take it. It's like, now we're flying, boys. So you hold the freestyle button down, you can get a perfect lean. That triple. Okay, now we're... Ca Jeff Alessi, rest in peace. Man, that's crazy that he passed away. But I gotta take you out, brother. I gotta take you out for... Never mind. I'm ass cheeks. Dave Millsaps went down with a plug. Alright. That was pretty bad. We fought back in the end, but... MX was ATV Live. I love this game. Once you get put practice into it, it's really fun. Not my favorite game of all time, but I still enjoy it. So next, I think it's Supercross Encore, which is probably my least favorite of all time. So let's hop into that. All right, so we're here on Supercross Encore. This is my f least favorite game of all time. I came back and played it a couple months ago. did a video on it. It just feels like ass cheeks. Yes, I know you can upgrade your guy and it might feel a bit better. But this game was always and still is a shit version of MX vs. ATV Live. If you didn't like a live, you're definitely not going to like this game. The Supercross tracks were kind of fun. But the physics were just not it, man. There's a lot of DLC and content, but I don't know, dude. Let's see if we can find cheat codes, because I have... Oh, yeah, I forgot that newer games don't have cheat codes, because why would they? So, we have nothing unlocked. Single race. Anaheim, I came back to that one. I did Phoenix. Atlanta, Indianapolis. I, uh, I kind of remember these tracks very slightly. We'll go Atlanta. Three laps. I might... Am I going to put them on all time? I'll get my ass kicked. We'll go pro. 250. Yeah, let's just get this over with. At least the chick has nice titties. That's a plus. 
This game looks very weird, very pixelated. It runs pretty smooth though. Oh my, look at this. I don't think I don't think you can make a game have It's crazy how this game has so much grip but so much slipperiness. It's it doesn't turn. I know you got to put practice in this game, but I just do not want to. The physics are dooky, man. Oh yeah, I forgot the preload's different. That's that's what I'm fucking up. My bad. What? We're restarting. I don't care. We're restarting. I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> Look at the turning. It's so bad. Oh my god. I don't even know if I can finish this race. That's how bad I hate this game. I was going to return it when I bought it a couple months ago, but I never did. So now I'm stuck with it. I know I need like a 450 and an upgraded bike and all that shit. But I just couldn't care less, man. I got to turn the music off. Maybe I should have put the AI on harder difficulty because I might have a win this actually. But like just, he doesn't want to turn, dude. The tracks were really good in this game, I will say that. The tracks were awesome. The physics were just so bad. Now we're getting somewhere. Like what is that animation, dude? I'd rather play Supercross 6 than this pile of shit, man. I really would. That's my bad. I'm seven seconds ahead, so probably gonna win. That's oh, that is me turning my sticks full tilt. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let's try just the left stick. That's just the left stick. Okay, may work a little better. The whips are ho horrible, dude. A paralyzed kid could throw better whips than this shit. What is this? God damn it. I got bucked off the bike. Triple. 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 Triple my nipple. This game has such a slow feeling to it, but it's fast at the same time. That's just because I'm so bad at it. Like, I remember even when this game had... Even when you get a fully upgraded bike, this game still feels like absolute tits, man. I mean, sorry, like, guy tits. Terrible. Like, you just drift in corners, man. What is this? I don't know, man. I'm going to end it there. I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm going to uninstall, get it off my computer. I hate this game. Never want to play it again. Goodbye. All right, so we're here on MX Res ATV All Out. This game is gorgeous. The One of the first games, I think, in a long time to really free the whips as much as it did. Fantastic whips. I got some mods installed, so that's why I'm rocking this, this 7 gear and the Red Bull helmet. Those are mods on the PC. I guess we'll ride the Honda today since I'm already have it equipped. This game had a pretty in-depth like tuning setting. This is what I'm rocking with right now. I have don't remember anything with it. Um, favorite track in the game? I remember the national tracks being kind of bad in this game, like the actual stock ones. I don't remember any of them, besides maybe a couple of the DLC ones. Supercross, I hardly touched. Um, I don't know. Supercross is really hard in this game. I think it's because of how twitchy and fast this game was. Supercross didn't really work for me. I like playing on the actual real life tracks. My favorite track was probably probably Southwick. Where the hell is that? There it is. 2020 Southwick. That's my favorite track in the game. So we'll do three laps on that. AI is very good in this game. And let's just hop into it. Here we are, Southwick. I should have other AI on the gate, but I guess I didn't. I did something wrong, so I have random AI, whatever. Wait, why the fuck do I have 25 laps on? What? No. Let's try this again. We got Brian Deegan beside us. I got a picture with him in real life. He seems like a really nice dude. This game is very twitchy, very fast. You can rail hella ruts in this game, hella berms. Oh, God. It's hard to keep your momentum going. You do bounce quite a bit in this game. Setup matters a lot. Right, look at how, look at the, tr the traction is next level in this game. There is like track deformation and kind of ruts in this game. 
But the ruts are kind of weird. But Southwick is so rough that they. I think this is my favorite Southwick version that they that they made, just because of how bumpy and bumpy and rough it is. Really, there's not many lines or ruts really. I guess there's inside berms action. Never mind. Just fly into that. I came back to this game a couple months ago and I reviewed it. Had a great time playing it. It took me a while to actually be able to beat the AI. But now, because before I'd be last place, miles behind, but now I'm kind of have the AI figured out. The bike sounds are so bad, man. I really wish they would just update the bike sounds, man. I'm sure it's not the easiest thing in the world, but my god. For how good the All Out and Legends were, or are, they have the worst bike sounds. Maybe even worse than MXGP, like, 2 and 1. They're that bad. Oh god, I'm dead. I haven't really battled with the AI much in this video. Maybe I should have did that, but oh, too late now. I'm not fucking going back and playing these games again. Oh, that, I launched that. There's still only 7 seconds back, so one crash and they're pretty much right back, isn't it? You can just stop on a dime with the, with the right setup. It is insane. But now that now that the track's getting a little rougher, you can see them kind of bouncing everywhere. It's hard to keep your momentum a little bit. Shit, that was close. But this has like a classic MX vs ATV feel to it, where it's just insane traction, fast pace. I don't like. There's some things that I like better about this game than Legends, but I don't know if it is better than Legends. It's hard to say. There's way more gear to choose from. Traction's better. AI is way better in this game than in Legends. It's hard to say, because sometimes I think I like this game better, but then I go back to Legends and I think I like that game better. Supercross and Legends is definitely way better. But Nationals, I don't know, I might. I think All Out might have better physics for the national tracks. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to play Legends right after this and we'll see if my mind changes. So you can see him kind of bouncing everywhere. God damn it. Look at the fucking speed. Holy shit. Oh my god, man. I'm pretty sure I did a video where I ranked every MX for ATV game. I think I did. Maybe I didn't because I know I ranked every MXGP game and every Supercross game, so maybe I forgot to do all the MX vs. ATV ones. Might have to come back and do that if I haven't already. That would be another good video, I think. I remember one time I did 30 laps on this track and it was just absolutely destroyed. You couldn't even ride on it. Kimmy Granger and Lana Rose couldn't even withstand this torture that this track takes. It gets really rough. Oh, you can probably make that. The graphics are kind of iffy on this game. The lighting's... Maybe it's just the lighting, but the graphics are good. I think it's just the lighting that is a bit goofy with this game sometimes. But that's MX vs. AT All Out. I hated this game when it first launched. But they kept updating it and updating it, and it is an amazing game now. I don't know if it's the best of all time. It's hard to say. It is tough. It's a really good game. But now, on to the last one. MX vs. ATV Legends. Alright, so here we are. MX vs. ATV Legends. When this game first launched, I hated it. There wasn't a lot to it, missing a lot of stuff. The physics were wonky, slippery. But now, after about a year and a half of the game being out, they've updated the shit out of this game. And I really love it and enjoy it, as you all know. But as for my favorite track, I actually have no idea. Supercross in this game is very fun. Um... Nationals, the, the stock tracks are okay, they're not bad, but I think, again, a lot of these um, real-life tracks where the game shines. I don't have a lot of these unlocked because I'm on my other account or whatever. I think my favorite track in Legends, this might be controversial, it is, um, I like Bud's Creek. I might have a bit of bias because I went there a few months ago in real life, but... Something about Butts Creek, it just works in this game. And uh, deformation, we'll put on max, why not? Bot count all the way up. Three laps. Conditions, we could do rain. But I think we'll just go afternoon or morning for now. So let's hop into it. Alright, here we are, Butts Creek. 
This, the visuals on this game are much better than Legends. The best look at MX vs. ATV game we've had. I think it's the only MX vs. ATV game to have like a rain weather that you can add. The AI is atrocious in this game. We all know that. The scrubs are beautiful. The whips are decent. The traction is good. When this game first released, it was so slippery, but now it feels terrific. Already coming back and playing this, I can say this is better than All Out. It has the physics are better. If this was on day one, All Out would have better physics, but I think Legends is better of the two. I don't know if that's my favorite game of all time, though. For MX or ATV games, it is tough to say. The bike sounds are so bad, dude. I hate the bike sounds. Ah. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for saying this, but I, th I think this might be my second favorite MX Race ATV game of all time behind Reflex. I don't think anything will ever top Reflex, but this game just has, this game has a good classic feel to it. It's got that arcade arcadiness to it, but also just, it's so good looking. The physics work. You can rail berms pretty good in this game too. AI is so bad though. I hate how terrible they still are in this game. Oh shit. Oh, this game has the best first person. I forgot about that. Best first person. You can customize it. Hang on. I'm trying to look at my first person. There, okay. Yeah, look how good the first person looks. It is nice. Bunch of new cameras.